Hello, everyone. Say anything to anybody? Hello. Hello. All right. You said you thought we were in World War Three unofficially already. And no, unofficially started February, March 2022. Now it's official. We in World War Three in every. Well, it's not the official. Country. Official is declaration of war. We haven't had that yet. Oh, so. Okay. I'm sorry. We we didn't have it. What What do you think? All the back and forth between Israel to Iran right now, and all the threats, which are not exactly blank. It's not no, exactly. It's not. Show. It's not. It's not. But it's not an official declaration of war. I mean, uh, you you can yeah, people are dying, but the and the thing is is um, uh, yeah, this could escalate very quickly. It already uh, has. And look what's going on besides Gaza. What did I told you in in, in one of uh, one of the interviews after Gaza? It's not going to start and end with Gaza. Did it's you see did, Lebanon to Syria to Iran? Yeah. Did you see that um, article I sent you about the guys? explaining you you had mentioned um or we had talked about that gaza has the the gas and the oil deposits yeah and supposedly this article said now they want to add a second suez canal the ben yeah, ben girl the, the ben girl yeah so who knows i mean listen i'm just going to throw this out there that you know it, it's this whole thing with Gaza, it's not helping Israel and it's not helping Jewish people around the world. Yeah, but but you know what? That look because it's like, because pe because I'll tell you, it's, it's just um, like, but it's just like good old Salanta said, I shouldn't be held accountable for the dumb fuck shitty decision that my alleged uh, puppet politicians, not alleged, there are puppet politicians, make. Uh, the crime ministers and his cabinet or the president and his cabinet or whatever it is uh, made, it's not in my name. I'm not doing this and I'm not supporting this. I said from the start, it's bad to all parties involved and it's only going to get worse off from this point onwards. And I was dead on right. I was dead on right. And there was a lot of other people who talked about it. Among them was uh, Judge Andrew Politano, Scott Ritter, Colonel, Colonel uh, Douglas McGregor. Um, there was a lot of uh, experts um, talking about this. And to be honest with you, like even from from non non mainstream or even alternative uh, news sources. Boots from the ground or from private intelligent contractors that worked for the highest bidder for the three letter agencies. I, I gotta tell you, I, I knew I knew something's gonna go down a month and a half, at least two months in advance. I just didn't know it's gonna be a shit show like that. That the one side is gonna be lured to an inside job, take the bait, which will give uh Benjamin Netanyahu, uh, all the legitimacy, allegedly, all the legitimacy he needs to kind of like... Do you think if this conflict didn't happen that he actually would have been prosecuted and removed from office, Netanyahu? Um, yes and no. I mean, it, 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 would, it would eventually would have happened anyway, but it would have, it would have, say, it would have said... It would have sent it. Basically, there was a massive setbacks and delays, because he's got his. He has. He had his marching orders since the end of the pre-planned scandemic. So, so they they powerful the powerful elements in the London Corporation and in India and Tel Aviv and uh, Caesarey. They told them we don't give. A flying elephant fuck how are you gonna do this this is the result we want and yeah uh, I, I I just um I I don't see this you know I remember I wasn't alive but I remember like my parents I remember my father telling me that during the Cuban Missile Crisis that a lot of people thought that there was a high degree that it was going 
a probability that it was going to lead to something really bad. It could have it could have ignited a powder powder keg if Kennedy and Khrushchev didn't resolve that. And the difference today is I other than Putin, I don't see any level heads out there. Yeah, I couldn't I couldn't have stated it better. Putin is the only responsible adult in the room. So is it, is it, is it, and, but, but that's like what we world... talked about, I don't know if we were talking this before or after we hit record. Uh, while Gerald Salenti says, when when you know all else fails, they take you to war. It's where we're going because we're we're watching the the Western monetary system collapse. You can see it with real estate, with the banks, with uh, treasury bonds, the fiat currencies. And the people who control all that, do you think they're going to willingly give that up? No way. No. No, if you, had, if, they, if you had that kind of power, influence, and sway over not just... They would, they would gladly take a nuclear exchange. We, we see that they're using the Ukrainians as cannon fodder, right? They have no problem with sending a million of somebody else to go die David, the official so, number the official number no, that my people point have... is so yeah. so they're not going to mind a few nuclear bombs going off they have it's their not, bunkers it's not just about that it's you think you thinking i know it's horrible the way it sounds but you're thinking small it's it's the, just as an example, the official number that comes out is that, like, so far, both military and civilian population in Ukraine is slightly north of 700,000 men, women, and children. Yeah, we may never know. I, no, I'm telling you right now, it's over a million. Only in Ukraine alone. I, I have no idea. They, no they, idea. They, listen, they're so desperate. This is why sometimes Scott Reader... Have you heard of him? Of course. Yeah. Okay. Sometimes he's an ex-Marine. You know that, right? He's an ex-Marine special forces. I know, I know who he is. I know who he okay. is. Okay. Okay. He's a very clever guy, very experienced guy, very highly trained, very clever. The only thing that annoys me about him is every time it's like when he when there is a report coming in, in order to verify it or debunk it. He kind of like he kind of like this have this dumb bare smile of he's like he's like shaking his head no 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 no, no that's not true uh, and then if he got it wrong he says like maybe I was wrong about the timing or maybe the the threat is legitimate from one side or the other but either way uh, in order to to realize their folly the Israelis need to lose and again he's he's referring. To the Israelis, to the Israeli people, or not, or to the the nation as a whole, not the Israeli regime. Again, even if if you if you go right now, if if you <laughs> hypothetically speaking, let's meet up somewhere in Europe, yeah, and from there catch a, a, a cheap, uh, um, you know, a cheap uh, charter flight to Israel, right? Together, if we go to any household in israel uh if even if we talk with the soldiers there's so much demoralization among the soldiers and the civilian population nobody wants that fucking idiot as a crime minister anymore he lost any possible confidence he lost any political fortune that he ever had or have or probably will have and you know what's funny his payment is no trial, no jail time, no handcuffs, and tremendous amount of money to retire just like that other traitor from the Labour Party, Ehud Barak. Uh, previously, ages ago, many, many terms, uh, another crime minister, another asshole that when the, the war started, he went to his... Uh, petroleum and uh, crude oil businesses in the United States of America, in the West Coast, Midwest, West Coast, no less, 
and he was caught on cameras choosing a nice, refined, expensive whiskey for his flight in Ben Gurion Airport, International Airport, Israel. Just when everything, when all the brown stuff and the red stuff started to hit the fan, so it pains me, it kills me that uh, from both ends, my my friends, my brothers, my sisters, my family members, friends, family, siblings, and neighbors, people all over Israel, Jews, non-Jews, Arabs, Christian, Muslims, it doesn't matter, even in Gaza. Don't there you go. Yeah. I'm, I'm just saying, I'm, as, a, as a father myself today, as a husband, I'm seeing all the uncensored, short, medium, long videos, all the pictures of dead children and babies and toddlers, newborn toddlers, like babies, even even five or two. Or I see that, that uh, 12 to 15 year old, I'm not sure, like girls that like, uh, screaming in Arabic, begging, begging to die. She's trying to bite her lips or her tongue until it bleeds because she lost two legs, one arm, and her entire family got vaporized, pulverized by a drone strike. No mother, no father, no grandmothers, no grandfathers, no brothers, no sisters, no uncles, no aunties, no cousins, no nothing. Nothing, and she lost both of her legs and both of her arms. Do you know how many? Oh, it's just chilling to talk about it. Do you know how many? How many? How many religious, uh, not sheikhs or imams, but azads or psychological therapists or even psychiatric help? She doesn't want to listen. She wants to. She said, "If you're not going to put a bullet in my head, I'm going to kill myself." Is it being used? for propaganda from the other side sure but it's legitimate you see her and you see her the pain in her eyes you see the pain in her eyes and and, and, and it kills me because i'm telling to myself i was raised in that region what if what if the god almighty in his infinite wisdom have decided that i was to be born over there but in the wrong side of the border what if what if God, God Almighty in, is in, in his infinite wisdom has decided that I'm going to be born, instead of in the States, I'm going to be born in one of the toughest, roughest area in Mexico where the cartel, just just human life have no value. Like a, a fucking two grams of cocaine or two ounces of silver have more value than, than human's life or a whole family's life. And you just slaughter me with machetes, or when all the bombs and the grenades and the bullets flies off like and the, the missiles. I mean, it that's that's insanity express. And then you got all the commentators from pro, con, and the people that leans on, on the fence. Do you remember that 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 very nasty? Uh, he he reminds me of like uh, that movie American Psycho played by uh, Christian Bale. Mm-hmm. Or oh, that uh, that that psychotic uh, governor of uh, Cali, uh, Gavin Newsom, more like Gavin Newsom's, but um, they call him Gruesome Joe, Newsom. Gruesome Newsom, what, what, whatever that that fucking rat, whatever the fuck he is, that 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 that, 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 that little arrogant boy of nothing, excelente. <laughs> he used to say, uh, maybe, maybe he'll be the next president. Uh, it's a definite because uh, it's definitely not going to be uh, Camel Toe Harris. That that's a given. Um, the thing is, maybe that, it will um, be Mike Robinson. What? Who? What? It, it's not even an election cycle. It's a selection cycle. Even if you're going to put, you know, uh, you know, you know, Mike Robinson, right? Yeah, but even if you're going to put a duplicated, <laughs> genetically duplicated chicken behind the resolute desk, it's not going to matter. It's more of mm. the same. Yeah. It's, well, they it's don't run the, the show same. anyways. Well, they're not what? running the show. They're not running the show. Bro, I was so I, I was so uh, blind that I, that I, you know, I, I even started to lose faith. I don't hate him. Don't get me wrong. I don't hate him like the, all the fucking ha- half the states, but... Um, Who's him? 
the orange man, Trump, Donald Trump. Oh. I don't, I don't hate him. I think he's a nice guy. I think he's an amusing guy. He's got his ups and his downs, just like any other man on earth, president or not. He's an entertainer. And a businessman, and a serious one at that. But I think he's been compromised. And I think, I think that the, the fuckers would be uh, uh, surrounded him intentionally by all the wrong advices. Probably entrap him, move to entrap him in some way to get some dirt on him. And uh, look who married his daughter. That fucking Gerald Kushner. Another arrogant, privileged boy of nothing that used to uh, lavish life of private jets and God knows what else, uh, every, left, right and center, every minute of every day, of every week, of every month. Of every year. Yeah, definitely and, connected. Yeah, and his younger brother, just say, uh, look, in the long haul, like, uh, so casually, in the long haul, you know, like, uh, Gaza Strip can be uh, class A, uh, uh, what was it, uh, beachfront uh, uh, property, something like that, so something along those lines. I mean, like, what the fuck is wrong with you? So you're going to sweep away all those amputated limbs and bones like nothing ever happened over there absolutely and it's the way uh, the world gonna, is man uh, what just, you, pay, just uh, pave it over so hold on so hold on so you so you're going to do that and then you're going to you're going to build all the pipelines and refineries and drilling sites and, and next to them yeah and next Okay, and next to them you're gonna be you're gonna build lavish hotels for both tourists and the workers of the drilling sites. Are you fucking nuts? Are you insane? Do do you need some sort of a genetic test to test if you're you even human or a fucking demon? Well, let me ask you a question. What do you what do you think? Do you, do you think that uh, Russia or Egypt or Iran or any of them? major players turkey do you think they're going to intervene in this thing that's a given Mi that's militarily a militarily yeah yeah that's that. the answer is unequivocally yes china maybe not china china by the way well, china china will just supply them all china supply them all but uh since time immemorial since so over six thousand years by the way i just uh hyphen in a sidebar note even in the Torah, it was mentioned that the Chinese, the Asian people, mm -hmm. the Chinese, the Asian, uh, Chinese, uh, Koreans, Japanese, uh, Thai people, Philippines, Filipinos, um, they're the only people who never harassed the sons of Israel. They only had trade with them. That's Just the, trade. The, Chinese, the Chinese, typically, that's all they want. But Okay, but... My, uh, Another quote from uh, uh, Mr. Salente, the Benito Mussolini lover and endorser. Um, right. Okay. In, in my eyes, at least, with the, the latest comment in the last four or five months, man, F him. Like, I, I mean, I, I, I appreciate the, the, the information, the knowledge, and the true fact on the ground. But can you calm down on the Jew York time or YouTube or, or if you're Jewish, you're in a protected class. And if you're a non-Jew, you kind of like, a, you, you got a, 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 a boot on your neck or something like that. I mean, like the fact that I'm doing this on the record interview with you right now can put even my life at risk. Some, somebody decided I'm talking too much or I'm breaking the narrative and this interview will catch fire and before you know it like i don't know um people will share it left right and center or oh, jews speaking like that well that that's new but well, yeah I'm, I'm before i'm anything before my uh, faith my skin color my my ideology my my way of life i'm a human being first and foremost i'm creation of god I, i'm a living I'm, I'm i'm a living and breathing breathing creature I mean, like, um, I I don't I, I I love life. I I love to celebrate to celebrate life. I don't like to be surrounded by death. 
I don't I, I don't like the notion that this is gonna going to have to be maybe the wretched world I'm gonna leave to my children and my grandchildren and my great grandchildren <clears throat> after me. It's probably gonna that notion is probably gonna haunt me in the afterlife, whatever it may be. <clears throat> Well, what's usually true in the history of mankind is the winner writes the history. So that's why there has to be a winner and there has to be a loser. But that's the point. Listen to the links that I've sent you of the interview of uh, that channel of Proven and Probable uh, with that genius, just genius, uh, Robert, a.k.a. Bob Moriarty. Yeah, listen, he said, like, is there any winners in any conflict in war? Said, he said simply straight up in a nanosecond no they just two losers one lost a little bit less and the other side lost a little bit more that's all it's just like it's just like heaven forbid just as an example if you and i go into a fist fight as a joke or if it's serious because you or i said something inappropriately to one another okay so um I got one black eye and uh, an open lip, a, a bloody lip, and you yeah. got a black eye. And a... Mm -hmm. So did, did any of us win? No, we're both in pain. We both lost. So what's it good for? It's good to serve the interest of very, very powerful and very, very evil people that for them, we just cannon father. For them... It's just like a, you and I um, catching uh, a catch a casual burger and a coke with some uh, chunky chips. I prefer the chunky, not the French fries. But for them, for them, a million of you, million of Davids, and and a million of Elishes, El Ninos, whatever, um, dead. It's just like. I don't know the biggest popcorn bucket that they can buy and just munch while watching it live on TV. That's how they think. That's how they operate, and that that's what uh, echo chamber produces. I mean, you you already got everything you can need, want, or care for in this world or the next, and your family and your bloodline, and until from the big well. For, from you all the way or from whoever started it until I don't know 50 generations ahead will never run out of money unless some someone will do a really stupid move you can just leave off the interest and the passive income what mm -hmm. else could you possibly want what be better than than who what like be better than your uh, alleged competitors which is Russia and China and maybe India and the BRICS nation. I mean, like, it, just like a lot of people say that that's not his uh, term to coin. But a lot of people said the business of China is business. The business of the U.S. is war. <clears throat> well, unfortunately, it's true. It's sad, but it's true. And 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 all those people. To, to be honest with you, that part I've missed. But a lot of people. There's there's a lot of conflicting reports. Who is pulling who to fucking war is israel managing the united states congress to try to pull them into backing them up in front of the industrial juggernauts of iran backed by russian and chinese technology and throwing to the mix syria and lebanon or is the united states stated save israel for last as a last resort to the to, to spark world war three who's the big dog who's calling the shot in the room that's what i want to know that's the only the only missing not that it's mattered that much but that's the only piece in miss in my puzzle in my head because a lot don't, of people say don't, Look, don't think in terms of nationality if you think in terms of nationality you're not going to figure it out no, not nationality, but but like from 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 intelligence, security, uh, in uh, back channel uh, apparatus or or lobbying, or elite kind of terms. Forget about forget about it. Is 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 
is Israel lobbying oh. the United States to support them with not just the funding or the war tools and the bullets and the, the bombs or whatever? Is Israel like lobbying them? Give it to us so we can we can be happy for ourselves and we give you what you want, or is the United you're, States you're, and the You're asking the wrong guy because I would like to think if it was actually a true democracy instead of a republic and everybody had a vote, I don't know. I, I would think that most people would vote not to send weapons and money to these other countries. But guess what? Supposedly 80% of the people got the jab. Two-thirds, 80%. So... We, we are, this is what I say to people, supposedly, uh, I mean, we have populations that have the most degrees of all time in history, but we're the most ignorant, stupidest populaces in history. And most of those degrees are fake, bullshit, nothing degrees, gender studies, Whatever, ancient the, Egyptian pottery, uh, political science. I didn't know politics has science behind it. For me, politics yeah. is just a hollow word that means nothing. The so whole what, point what is you, is what, is look at look at look at Israel, look at the United States, look at England. The people, the population has zero say on anything now. None. Of course, their, le of their leaders, their leaders can do whatever they want. The the business leaders can do whatever they want. The banking leaders can do whatever they want. The stock market guys can do whatever they want. Because they know nothing's ever going to happen to them. It's over. No, because you will own nothing and be happy. And you will eat the bugs and we will own you. That, that, that's the general message. Well, you the bottom line is when, when have the people who run the show not gotten their way? Never. They've always gotten their way. Mm, there was a few times, but that's ancient history. That's not modern history. Yeah, I'm talking modern history. Oh, I'm okay, talking well, the last hundred years. Okay, well, and Hitler. technology technology is only going to make it worse for people like you and me and average people. They're gonna yeah, lock it. Much. They're gonna lock it down, dude. They're gonna lock it down. You, you want to hear something funny? Hitler didn't got his way all the way, but his handler did. His handlers did got what they wanted out of out of all this. Yeah, and, uh, they, they ended up winning uh, unofficially. <laughs> and all those idiots who think that uh, Adolf Hitler and Himmler and... Uh, uh, it's called Operation Paperclip, I believe. Yeah, 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 and Mengele, uh, Joseph Mengele, and Goebbels, the propaganda ministry of the the uh, Nazi Germany back in the days. Um, every, every one of those idiots who think we allege conspiracy theorists, everyone is, they think they, all of them, or at least most of them, died in the end of the war. Yeah, I got news flash for you. The vast majority of them died in peace in South uh, America in, in Latin America <clears throat> some of them in the United States under false yeah. uh, 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 alias name they didn't even went to a plastic operation to change their face maybe a little bit of makeover a wig dyed their hair scar here scar did not to be identified um, and also what were they called uh, the, the canary not the canary the wolf den somewhere is some 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 massive island in bavaria they liked the climate over there and they all died in between uh, 80 to 87 1980 to 87 all of them in a very advanced age all those people actually believed the narrative that hitler ordered his officers to shoot him and ever brown in the head and then burn the bodies for shit that's a oh, major yeah. bullshit. I, I don't. I don't think Hitler died at, in no. 1945. No, he did not. Definitely not, and definitely not uh, the high-ranked political class, the officers of the military, and the 
Buffin is it's and especially well, now this science. Well, think uh, think about how how remote South America was. I mean, it's remote now in parts of the back then in 1950, 1945, 1955. Forget about it. Anybody no, could go disappear. I mean, you could have gone to parts of the United States and disappeared back then. Sure thing, but think about it also in terms of the world was just healing and recovering and reindustrializing. So who the fuck would pay attention? Oh, the bastard's dead. Good, let's move on. The average Jack and Jill in the street or watching the black and white television. Yeah. That, I mean, like, come on, man. It's a, even nowadays, it's very easy to fake death. Do you think? Do you Not think only that, you could you could put like you said, just take his mustache off him, and you probably could have put Hitler right next to you and me, and we wouldn't know him. Change his hairstyle. Do you actually believe that the, those never-ending list of bastards like uh, Jacob Rothschild in the age of eighty-nine or? That, that 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 fucking satanic fat bastard Henry Kissinger and before him uh, uh, the David, queen the, the David Rockefeller the senior not not the current senior the previous senior and, yeah yeah and, they all uh, died within like a year or two of each other yeah miraculously one drops after another after sucking uh, Adrenochrome milkshake since the time they were 24 years old onwards. Uh, you know, it's funny on Twitter. You, have you ever been to like a, an amusement arcade and they have those things you put a dollar in and it has the crane and it goes down and it picks up a toy? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know the name of it, but there's this uh, hilarious cartoon on Twitter. Every time one of those criminals dies, it shows the Grim Reaper playing that game and it picks up and it has whoever it died. And the last one who died was, um, who, who was it who just died? The most recent one, was it Kissinger or whoever? No, no, no it was no, no. Uh, Rothschild, right? Yeah, well, Rothschild, Jacob, Jacob Rothschild. Okay. One of yeah, so it had Jacob and the Grim Reaper is always like, is George Soros in this game? <laughs> yeah. So I'm waiting for the day George Soros. It's gonna that cartoon's probably gonna be epic. Yeah, you want to, you want to, you, you know, it's fun. As, as much as funny, it's also sad because you know that uh, George Soros, uh, that evil bastard who pretends to be a, a Jewish yeah, he, survivor from yeah, Hungarian yeah, he, he supposedly was behind uh, sending a lot of them to the uh, camps, the Jews. That's how he made his fortune. The Nazi yeah. paid. The Nazis paid them and paid them very well with gold and silver bars and with currencies of back then. How do you think he made his fortune? And you, but, but you know what's funny? If he dies, if he dies, which in a well-deserved way, hopefully, his son Alexander is is a, a thousand folds worse off than him. He already declared. I'm going to well, uh, dedicate well, all, all, all the foundation fortune to destroy Trump and all those who follow him and stuff like that. Um, whether if he's in on his corner or it's just a shell game, I don't know. I don't care. But a person who says something like that, it got to be evil. By the way, even uh, that, that, uh, that idiot, Netanyahu in Israel, Mm-hmm. Even if you're gonna go quietly into the dark, fading away, or whatever it is, uh, or even resign for that matter, no trials, no nothing, no handcuffs. Do you think that the replacement that we that they're gonna install as a as another puppet politician? We need a genuine leader, like like even though he's a nationalist, like Putin, not another not a bloody politician. The thing is. You know, you you know who had who they had in mind to replace Netanyahu after he's being groomed right now. I, I don't I don't follow Israeli politics. Of so. a really far right retarded motherfucker with what's his name? Ben Gvir. Okay, I, I've I've seen him. Yeah, I've seen him. Yeah. That 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 effing idiot. Listen. 
that if an idiot is he the one who is he the one who was pulling the the uh, the pistol over the whole parking thing did you see that video uh, i'm not so sure because i'm not uh, watching yeah every garbage out there, but yeah listen listen to what i'm telling you that that bumbling idiot has quadruple digits IQ with a minus attached to it. That that's how retarded this guy is. Well, that's why he's a politician. Thank you very much. Right now he's a cabinet member and a, and a parliament member. Yeah, Knesset member in the case of Israel. But that's uh, yeah. Well, they had the politicians in the U.S. Congress waving the Ukrainian flag, so the IQ level across the board is. But that that only shows you. I mean. You've heard of Thomas Jefferson, I'm sure. He wrote something called The Tree of Liberty, and yeah. which, which basically is the blood of tyrants and patriots are required to water the Tree of Liberty every few yeah. years. Otherwise, yeah. you lose your liberty. So basically... You basically have to fight this. for it. You have to fight yeah. for it. And you yeah, need the blood to remind you of the pain and the misery that you face if you don't keep it. So basically sacrifices from both sides has to be made because lessons that you forget. Hasn't been, no, lessons that hasn't learned in blood that are quickly for, forgotten. That's yeah, it. It's true, it's true. It's true, what, what you're saying is, is true, but unfortunately it's, it's part of our flaws as, as human nature. Like, I, I don't know, I don't know what to tell you. I well, just, that's it. I, I mean, it's like uh, people keep smoking and eating like shit and then the doctor says, hey, man, I've got some bad news. I'll change, I promise. It's too late. Yeah. Maybe. Yep. And it, it is, it's too late on many fronts. Too late many fronts. And that's why I'll just end it by saying, all you can do is, if you don't believe in God, well, there's nothing I can say. But if you do, then just make sure that you take whatever steps you need to because eternity is a lot longer than 100 years on earth. 90, and so, 120, true. So last thing we want to face is we get, we get to uh, Judgment Day and uh, God says, hey, um, I never knew you. Sorry. You know Bye. what? Before we, we even come to that, when we face judgment, before we even come to the point of like uh, heavenly judgment to determine if we go upstairs or downstairs or into a limbo, or whatever it is, endless limbo or, or uh, reincarnation. Recycled, uh, yeah. Recy recycled back for another 100 years or so of like uh, torture uh, yeah. of the hell we left behind and... It's in nanoseconds, not even. Uh, it's instantly. The thing is, it's the question is, it, it's it's not even if or uh, or the question of when. It's the question of how. I I mean, like, are we really maybe facing the threat of like going in the way of like okay, a quick flash of light in the skies, all of us are glowing in the dark for a few seconds and then melted down and that that's the end lights off i mean like is there, is it a possibility yeah it's a, poss it's a possibility yes it is it is because this time you got wars between nuclear superpowers want it or not nuclear superpowers and and terrorists who have can probably have suitcase bombs even if it's not it's not a ginormous warhead in the size of uh, the fucking Washington Monument, it doesn't have to be that. It could be, you know, the next mass destruction weapon doesn't. It could be the sweet 15, 16 year old uh, your niece, best lady friend. Um, that uh, carried an envelope of uh, some some really toxic material that spread within the wind. All she had to do is open it by accident or deliberately. Done. You got like hundreds of or millions gone. And it can expand. 
how many how, how many movies and TV series have they made on zombie apocalypse and uh, uh, flesh eating zombies and all that crap like Resident Evil and the Walking Dead and you know like countless seasons and countless movies how, how many how many of those do we have to watch? For you to realize, yeah, we understand what you got installed for us, but like, and like, it's fucking, fucking retarded. Like, it's, it's, it's like, it's like they're, they're the, the jokers, or the, the, the world is their theater, and we are the, the audience. But most of the audience are little boys and girls that keep, interrupting the play we already know how it ends we already know how it ends uh well well a handful when? of us and no, no. no no but that's my point a hand a handful of us most of unfortunately you know what sometimes I, i'm telling to myself maybe i should get on board with the elites if 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 70 80 percent of of the, the entire ball. global population yeah are willfully, willfully and knowingly retarded. And even when they're being informed and showed evidence of what what happened, what's happening, what's about to happen, they refuse to act and do something about it. So what do you want me to do, David? I mean, like, oh, what do you, what, 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 what do they expect us to do? I mean, like, just be, be a doomsday prepper. Do your homework. Save what you can. Accumulate what you can. Get off the grid. Uh, Hope for the best, pray for the best, but prepare for the worst. Let the others have their struggle. We can't save the, the entire world, even if, even if we f- fucking form up uh, not not the A team. We, we're gonna create an army of A teams. Well, listen, I I've got to get going, and it's late where you are as well. So, do, is there is there any point that you want to make? Any any because you said there was some things that you wanted to say. Do you 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 have anything you want to wrap up with? Yeah, I just want to say in a general sense to everyone who is uh, listening to this interview, get a grip, uh, do your homework, uh, absorb more knowledge, educate yourself, not not the crap in the mainstream, uh, not just the television programming, but also colleges, universities. Uh, in the end of the day, we're all human beings. We all want to... Just live our lives, be honorable, uh, compassionate, and charitable towards one another. There is a reason why we're here to begin with, and there is a way of life, and then there's this way, which is is not befitting. So all I'm going to end is like to anyone who's listening, who's got from the smallest all the way to the biggest influence that they can they can do just enough is enough the 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 the, the earth is drenched with blood as you said earlier with blood of both tyrants and patriots or innocent people and seeing all those horrors unfolding at one go and you know, you know what? This is just the two main conflicts that are being spoken of. You don't see nobody. Nobody seems to cover or report about uh, wars and genocides being conducted in uh, Central and East Africa, or uh, some parts of Asia, or, or or another clash in the Kashmir Strip between India and Pakistan. All that. I mean, like enough is enough. I mean. I don't know. I, I guess. I guess. I guess. I guess. It's it's urgent, crowd of the world that it doesn't matter who you are, where you're from. Just just be kind to one another. You you don't need that. Don't don't let don't let the great deceiver, whatever his name is, Lucifer, Satan. Don't let him deceive you. Don't let him play you. Don't let him turn you against your brothers, the sisters, your fellow human beings, men, women, children. I think enough is enough. I think, I, I, to be honest with you, I'm I'm tired. I can I'm I just 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 to to finish it with, with something symbolic. I'm gonna show you something. 
that's can, out of all faith. I, 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 I cannot do it. I mean, can can a Christian show that he's Christian? Can a Muslim wear uh, a traditional kafia or a head covering? Yes, the answer is yes. Uh, can uh, Hindus and Sikhs wear their turban? Yeah. You see this? This is a traditional praying cap, my yarmulke. I can't go like this in the street and sure shit not with um, hold on oh, this is the this is the dog tag the uh, new one that I made but um, I can cannot go let me just bring the camera close uh, oh, they got mixed together sorry was it a star of David yeah exactly uh, mm -hmm. the the six point star not the five or seven of the pen, the satanic pentagram Mm -hmm. or the paganists this is the even though the original symbolism symbolism of judaism is the menorah hold on let me stop it you see i mm -hmm. i i i cannot go with this or with this separately let alone together in the streets almost anywhere in the fucking world nowadays why what if I choose to do it? Like it's—it's it's not like I'm wearing it as a fa fucking fashion uh, statement. It's my faith. I, I just like I this. This is not just a, for prayers. This is always to remind that there is someone above us that we have to answer to. I I I can't wear it. I I just simply can't wear it. Not because I'm 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 I'm, I'm a scared little bunny rabbit. Trust me, I'm not. Because, like, I mean, like, I mean, like, oh, another, another Jew boy, another filthy, greedy Jew, another, another filthy Unf kite. Un unfortunately, it's we're all we're all imperfect creatures. We all have our prejudices. We all have our fears, and that's where we have to realize that lumping. All Jews, all Blacks, all Irish, all Chinese, into one category is a very dangerous thing, and it's ignorant and it's stupid because it's and it's lazy. It's lazy most of all is blaming blaming one group for your problems. It's oh. it's it's retarded. Truly. One it, it, exalt to another. We both seen our fair share of action, battles, wars, boots on the ground, one one capacity or the other, or one volume or the other, or in one region of the world or another. But a it, true, but, war, a but, true uh, warrior, a true fighter would like to avoid that hell. Unless it as a uh, and only used as a last resort. But but you, you, you know what we don't you know we don't what? we don't have we don't have those people anymore unfortunately who are in positions of leadership and I don't see I don't see how we avoid what's coming I really don't because the financial situation the way that the world was structured after World War II there's no way they're going to willingly give that up. Zero chance. And it's already, we've already seen, especially since 9-11, we've already seen that the citizenry of the free world are useless. They're useless. Yeah. In fact, they're complicit. They, they cheer it on. As long as they get their $3 a gallon gas, their $1 a gallon milk, you know, they get there dancing with their stars. They're happy. Have you seen, I, I think I've asked you this before. Have you seen that picture, that mashed up picture? It's kind of like a meme of like basically showing you uh, over 2,200 years ago, uh, Roman Colosseum where the gladiators used to fight mm -hmm. and kill each other for sports, for fun. 
of the right. crowd. Of right, the bread emperor. and circuses, yep. All right, so basically they showing half of that and in the other one they showing the, the other side of the circle is a, a soccer stadium. Mm. And then you got the title in the top or in the bottom or both. Uh, give them some bread, beer and some entertainment controlling them wasn't hard. And some of those quotes are from uh, uh, George Orwell uh, book of 1984. Controlling them was no, wasn't hard. Give, no. give, give the commoners some drink, food, entertainment. They'll be distracted like, like a, a retarded puppy dog watching uh, a frisbee flying. Well, and you add in, you add in, deflate the money and keep them on a treadmill, and now you're not even going to have the time. You're going to be, you're going to be running to stand still, my friend. You're going to be spending your waking hours just trying to put food on the table, pay the mortgage, do what you yeah. need to do for your kids, and it, when you're when you're that busy taking care of basics. You know, Maslow's hierarchy of needs. You can't worry. You can't worry about the high level stuff when you're trying to take care of the basics. That's that's true, because you're still and, stuck in, in the foundations and the elements yeah. and it keeps on coming. And, and there's so thing. many people in debt now that do you th I mean that's called slavery, man. Debt is slavery. Um, uh, at least in that front, thank God. Um, well, officially at least, like, because unofficially, every man, woman, and child on this planet is in debt to the to the current monetary system. But, um, uh, in, in, um, official officially to to uh, public or private financial institution, I'm indebted to no one. If I'm indebted, it's only to very, very close. Well, I'm talking family. I'm talking the average average I mean, you you hear these um, these stats where there's more people indebted in credit card debt, just credit card debt in the mm -hmm. United States than there's ever been before. I know, I heard. It's in the trillions already. Yeah. And People who have mortgages think that they could never lose it. Oh, I have a 2%. I have a 3%. I could never lose it. Well, guess what? If you don't have an income that can cover the expenses of keeping that home, you could lose it. And you can already see that these, these governments are already starting to raise taxes across the board on everything. Yeah, it's been announced yesterday that... Uh... Uh, well, it's not even Joe Biden. That, that, that thing playing Joe Biden, uh, considering to raise the the capital gains, the, the capital gains to forty percent or more. Yeah, and, the one that's the one that's a joke is, I think uh, t they want to tax twenty five percent tax on unrealized gains. Unreal. What the fuck is that terminology? Is that a new thing? That Unrealized means that thing? means when you buy something and you don't sell it, but the price goes up, you have to pay mm. taxes. Even if right. I haven't liquidated yet. Correct. This is pure and simple, illegal, unconstitutional, and this is why I was about to ask you: Why would you prefer? Hence, a fucking, hence a fucking... you will own nothing and be happy. Yeah, that's that's one of the gateways right. to you will own nothing and be happy and like that. Because uh, who would want to own it when you're paying tax on it and you haven't even cashed it out? What is it called again? Blackstone, Blackstain, Blackrock, whatever the fuck their name is. Like they. Uh, yeah, there's 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 two of them, but Blackrock is, is the Blackrock is the one that owns everything. Okay, so Blackrock Vanguard. Uh, State Street, whatever the fuck. BlackRock and Vanguard are the two largest in the world, I believe. Yeah, but you also got State Street and uh, what's the other oh, one? Oh, yeah. Uh, they affiliated uh, the, the Carlyle Group and all those uh, yeah. Uber mega corporations that control everything else and every as other aspect of life. 
So yeah, we got all they those. run. They run the world. Exactly, with other other club members from other clubs, you know, carving the world like it was the like it was a, their own private Sunday roast. Oh yeah, but, well the same people own pieces of everything. Yeah, yeah, but the thing, yeah. but the thing is. I, I gotta tell you, this is what I was about to ask you when I mentioned it earlier. Like, why would you rather another hollow word that means nothing, like a democracy, over a constitutional republic when it's whoa? Look, look at what the, look at what the Patriot Act brought to us. Uh, I don't want to go down this rabbit hole. This will take too long. No, I, no, I know. I'm, I'm not going. I'm just, I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna say it, 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 the the Patriot Act was the 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 father role. For all the fascist uh, laws and legislation and acts passed yep. by the by the Congress and the Senate, yeah, and th that was the the infrastructure that, uh, based on that infrastructure, they not only renewed but also expand the powers of the FISA Act, foreign surveillance. Uh, in no, so, sorry. Yeah, foreign intelligence surveillance. In, in essence, in essence, what 9/11 did in those, it just repealed the, the Bill of Rights and the Constitution. That's all. So, so those, and George, see, everybody should be study George Carlin because George Carlin said, if a right isn't a right if it can be taken away, it's called a privilege. Hmm. So, Bill of Rights when they can basically violate your constitutional rights and you have no recourse, it's not a right. It's not a right. Nothing in this world is right or makes sense anymore, to be honest. Like, I mean, there's a, there is some little beams of uh, sun rays and sunlight, but uh, I got to tell you, that's, that, that's, that's going to end poorly and Again, I'm not. I I told you that before. For for me, I'm not afraid for myself. I'm I'm afraid for my. Well, it's yeah. It's tough to know when. It's tough to know when. I mean, uh, like you said, it it should have happened uh, years ago, but it didn't, because they were able to maneuver, and change. I mean, uh, you know, when the U.S. came off the gold standard, all of a sudden they created the petrodollar. And they were able to create these things to kick the can down the road. Now, when I've been saying all along that it will take an external force, it will it will take probably Russia, China, India, the BRICS countries to say, hey, we're not going to play this game anymore. Yeah, but, but, but you see, that's all nice and dandy and rosy. But then all those... Uh, uh, you know, uh, laser weapons and surveillance weapons and uh, all those. Uh, well, that's what we're saying. They're not going to give up peacefully. No, yeah, but, it's going to. But already, already domestically, not towards the BRICS nations, because they know they cannot cannot on them. So all those surveillance weaponry, uh, defensive, offensive, all those lasers, all those. Uh, mini nukes all those uh microwave weapons vibration uh, radio based weapons all the things that they told you oh we're doing this to protect america and the free world <clears throat> that we used in afghanistan in iraq and libya and syria yeah. wherever it's all being aimed on their own tax cattle right now it's aimed at us you and me this conversation right now, recorded, not recorded, live, not live, somebody is, or, or some some AI machinery is listening to this, and if there's part of keywords, somebody will probably have a look yeah, at it. but, you know, I think at this point they know that there's nothing we can do. There's nothing you and I can do. I think there is, but it's just that, like, there's need, there need to be, there need to be no, more. No, no, I'm talking to stop what's coming. There's nothing that we can do to stop what's coming. And and this is this is the joke. This is what I think is is a bit of a joke is when people are like, well, um what what do they say? Uh I don't remember the exact words that they said, but God will intervene. God God's not going to intervene because God gives us free choice, free will. 
if we choose to do nothing, that's our choice. God's not going to come down and say, I'm going to stop evil. No way. No way. Evil runs the show down here, man. It's, it's in charge, man. Because good's, good's gone. You know, people, people are relying on Trump or somebody to come in and ride on the horse and save the day. It's, and I'm, I'm not sure, was it always that way? His, his mankind always relied on one guy to, to save the day? No. Instead, no. You know? It wasn't, it wasn't always that way, no. There was time when uh, men were men. And when they want to rose up to tyranny, no matter the sacrifice, they brought it down. Apparently, at one point in history, and one, one point in time in history, we lost our way, the old ways, the ancient ways. And justice was just become another, another slogan to be chanted and justice or, or, or you know, truth. It's well, like... Man, like mankind has definitely him. lost his way. I, I just don't know if it ever, ever found its way. Man, mankind's been, I don't know. Lost for what, like hundreds? Well, no, it's just, it's, it's always been the, the few rule the many. Always. You, you, you got a good point over there. If you, if you study some of the, archaeology of the ancient world some of the rules of some of the power, most powerful biggest empires of uh, thousands or even tens of thousands of years ago weren't even from that place the the, uh, the Sumerian Empire the was vast the Babylonian Empire um, there was a local ruler but he's got his orders from rulers from elsewhere, but they weren't even from there. Yeah. 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 And it, it's been like that, by the way, since the time of Alexander the Great, when he conquered and conquered and conquered and created all those little Alexandrias. Yeah. Maybe, 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 maybe you are right. But this, this kind of like um, something... That's kind of like encouraging. That um, in the I think yeah, I, I don't I don't see it, man. I I just don't see it. the only the only thing we can do is I I'm talking I'm talking big picture. I'm not talking. Not, I mean, there's I, always I things what, you can do as an individual with your inner circle, but as far as the macro picture, yeah, I I think it's a I think it's a done deal, man. No, no, I, I, to, I totally agree, but like, there's something like from, from, I, I, I don't know how, how much it appeals. And, to me. and I'm really, it's this year is going to really be interesting because we've got the the financial issues around the world. Do they do or do they manage to be able to kick them down the road? Because clearly, Wall Street, the financial markets, will believe anything as long as they're making money. They don't care what it is, and um, they're making money but, eventually. But they, but they, if if the zero in value. But can they can they pull off another fraud election or war, and definitely. people just go along with it? Most you know, definitely. If, if I've had this debate with Dan a few times, you know, just on phone call, not recorded, about. Mm -hmm. You know, if Joe Biden gets in for another term, what happens? Well, even if he doesn't get another term, but he's uh, is uh, they already shopped for his replacement, so we fucked either way. But um, uh, I got to tell you, like, um, yeah, I mean, does it really matter? I mean, you know, they could bring Boris Johnson back, right? Does it really matter? They can bring anyone. They're, they're, listen. This is why I told you, Constitutional Republic, iron sealed and stamped. 
uh, not a democracy. Do you, do you think, listen, if your vote or my vote or anyone else's vote, for that matter, r really mattered, you wouldn't be allowed to vote. Yeah. And if people can rig an entire election in 2020, rig it, cover, well, doing a pissed poor job by covering their tracks, and but then like s recycle it and sell it to the public. No, there was no rigged election. Oh, yeah, they got away with it. Oh yeah, and yes, there was uh, January six was the worst event since Pearl Harbor and 11 combined. All that crap that never happened, and people sitting in dungeons with no fair trials, no, no, not even a hearing. Um, listen, don't you think that people with that kind of power can redo it again? Of course. Mm -hmm. I mean, they they already control everything. They, unfortunately, and this is something I, I, I ask myself, is when you start believing a narrative, you really have to question yourself, why are you believing that narrative based on what information? Because, because think about it. I mean, most of us are not personally engaged in a lot of these things that we're thinking about. True. You know, but, like I'm not I'm not over in Ukraine or in Gaza. I mean, it's so foreign to me. I mean, where am I getting my information from? I'm getting it from people I don't know. Yeah, but and, even and then, who right. knows if they're trustworthy or not. It's also true, but like I, I don't know, like look at the people the the everyday schmucks in the streets waving or wearing t-shirts or even marking their face with the colors of, of this country or that country or that side or that side, yeah. protesting each other. Don't you have anything better to do? Even over here, like people coming to me, like sometimes like, where are you from? And then like, if, if I know, if, if by, by, by the accent or by the attitude, they come to me, I already know, like I can tell them like, kind of like in a nutshell, the, the, the background. But if I see yeah. a violent junkie, so I'm like, uh, oh, where am I from? Well, I'm an earthling. I'm from planet Earth. Right. That's a good answer. I'm an Earthling. I'm I'm from planet Earth. Where are you from? Uh, Mars, Venus, Jupiter? Like, uh, no, no. But seriously, man. What, Uranus. What, 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 <laughs> Uranus. Yeah. Uh, uh, so so I'm kind of like um, I'm I'm like uh, when they press on it and like no, but seriously, where are you from? Uh, the accent, the, the mixed accent, or I don't know the, the looks and, and everything. Listen, so. I most countries I've been to. Um, I I mean, there's yeah, there's there's a lot of prejudice, racism, segregation of some form or another. It's just the yeah. way humans are. I mean, when you go into a school, you know, it, it's not surprising to see you know, different racial groups sitting together. That's a sad commentary for itself. But I got to tell you, like, I don't know, like, I, I just tell them, oh, you want to know what part of the earth I am? I'm at some place called this, that, that, and then I just leave it at that. And I turn away, like, because cause one time... Oh, well, it's like know. when you go to Paris, right? And, I mean, there's all these... Uh, Muslims in Paris, right? Who are real from all over. Well, all over. and but I mean, a lot of them at this point were born in France, born in Paris. Yeah. I mean, Arabs have been in France a long, long time, coming from Africa, and and uh, in fact, I I know some guys. Uh, this I told you about the guy in Mexico who I I yeah. uh, Omar, yeah. No, not Omar. Uh, his name is Hassan. Awesome. And he's he was born in Paris, and he's his family is from uh, Africa, mm -hmm. North Africa, and um, but he was born in Paris forty years ago. So he's French. He's French, but he's also North African uh, Arab, Muslim, not Arab, Muslim, Arab too. But yeah, so so essentially, like. It's not just uh, 
previous or current uh, Muslim or any type of other immigrants that are flooding Europe and North America, and even now, according to what you're saying, South America, it's uh, it's the second generation and third generation of immigrants. So yeah, yeah, and I mean he's he's I mean he's watching France fall apart right in front of him, right. It's much different from when it when it what it was when he was a young man, young boy. Same thing with you know, the United States for me. You know what so, you know what's sad about all this? You see all those those fucking idiots and and, and like worldwide, but especially again, unfortunately in the US, the talking about non-stop 24 7, 30 days a month, 365 days. A year talking about white supremacy. <laughs> white Caucasians are on a brink of extinction. Do you know how much how much white Caucasian people left on the entire planet as a yeah. whole from the whole from eight point two eight point three billion people? One billion is one thousand times a million. Eight point seven percent of the entire global population are white. Yeah, it makes they, sense, especially with all the mixing going on. I, I got no problem with the mixing. All I'm saying is I'm a mix myself from multiple mm -hmm. ethnic background, and I'm appearing white. So, okay, so let's say... No, but I'm saying, like, if I married a Chinese girl and I had children, they wouldn't be 100% white anymore, right? Yeah, but either way, like, I, I don't I don't see I don't see a reason why it's a, it's a bad thing on the one hand. On the other hand... You keep, even though it's keep on happening, and yes, some communities keep to keep to themselves, like not not necessarily incest or inbreeding, but like you know within the community, not in the family necessarily. But that that's that it just but, it just it just amazes me amazing me that without the fact checking, proper fact check fa fact checking and verifying information, they keep on pissing about. Uh, uh, um, white supremacy when uh, even the influx of the Latino la, 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 Latino nations Latino nations um, so yeah. surpassed the black community in the United States so w w what's left what, what, so well, what, are you, what, what are you gonna do soon put put the the, the white people on reservations alongside with what's left of the Indians, the, the Native Americans. This is, this is, this is, I've actually seen videos that have debated this and have done historical. Now, whether it's true or not, I don't know. But you'll see some of these channels that will contend that the advancement of civilization has been based on these white cultures. True? I don't know. I, I, you know, this is the, this is, this is, I'm, I'm too tired to even think about it right now. Mm -hmm. I got to go, dude. I'm, 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 I'm beat. But, um, yeah, who knows? It's, um, I don't know. The world, the world, the one thing that's changing, you know, the one thing that's guaranteed is change. In those well, ways, I, can tell you one thing to, but, to this up. I know that it's like white, white, white Caucasian culture contribute a lot to the advancement and the betterment of human civilization. But there's a lot of uh, invention, yeah. old stuff, yeah, yeah. or new stuff that came also from you know Asian countries. And yeah, I can't hear you. Oh, sorry, sorry. Which part did you miss? Uh, I didn't hear any of it, but I, I got to go. All right. And that's, you know, the whole point is, 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 as long as you have zero sum games, then you get a winner and a loser. Okay. Yeah. And that's the way the world is right now. Zero sum. There is no working together. We're, we're going the opposite way, man. Backwards. There, well, if there's going to be a winner and there's going to be a loser, well, that means somebody has to lose. 
And nobody ever thinks they're going to lose until they've lost. Look at Ukraine. And look, look at what's becoming of uh, of Israel. It, it's soon. It's going to be. It's already effectively an active volcano, and it's going to get louder and louder. Well, the the only uh, and they're similar in that Ukraine. You you if you're really smart about something, Elisha, you never really. And it goes to Sun Tzu. You never really want to fight a battle you can't win unless you have no other choice. And and Ukraine was never going to beat Russia. Never going to happen unless the United States, Europe, and the, unless the whole world teamed up against Russia, which they weren't going to do. And, but but then but, but I'm then talking again. about U.S. forces going in there, French forces, English forces, everybody sending in their troops and their weapons to fight the Russians. And if I that happens, doubt. then I highly doubt they do that because if they do that, that's my point. Forget. My point is that's why you don't start the war because you don't start something you can't finish. And, and the right. same thing with Israel. Israel. Like you said, it's a tiny blip in the world. It can be wiped out very, very easily. There's other factors so, to consider, but yes, that's also one of them. So, I don't know, man. Like you said, they're, they're cruising for a bruising. And, 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 and here's the thing. Once, once all those countries unite, and come to, and like once Saudi Arabia and these other countries come together and say, listen, let's uh, everything aside. Let's just get rid of Israel or get rid of whoever, and then we'll fight each other. Then they're going to have trouble. Yeah, but in that regard, I highly doubt that like uh, countries like uh, Saudi Arabia, you know, could, you got to remember also, the Islamic world, uh, 64 Muslim countries, 22 of them just from the Arab ethnicities. But uh, uh, the thing is that um, when it comes to the Muslim world, uh, the vast majority of the Islamic world is 80-85% uh, Sunnis. The rest of them are Shiites and they got their own dispute. And, and, and you know what? The foundation is rotten down to the core because it's not like the only thing that unites them is the hatred towards the state of Israel. That's uh, what I'm saying. Sure, that's one angle to look at it, but at the same time, you can, you can, you can how, hate. How long, how long do you think it would, it would take them to mobilize and destroy Israel? I mean, a couple of years? If they got organized and put every, and then just, I don't know. If that if that would have been the case and Israel just got a whiff of it and back channeling or intelligent live raw data, uh, yeah, I, they'd I, nuke I, somebody. Yeah, they'd nuke somebody. They're probably just just for starters, like they're probably uh, probably just for starters, just as a as a warning, just for start off, they're gonna nuke the the great uh, salt desert in the center of Iran before they get to Tehran. The capital city, but, um, but, but that just with nukes. But I did believe, you hear I that believe... story? Did you hear that story about? I think I sent it to you that supposedly Iran had an F thirty five on its way to Iran, and the Russians shot it down. Who had and the F the F thirty five? The Iranian F thirty five had a nuke on it, and they were going to Iran to nuke Iran, and the Russians shot it down. You just said an Iranian F-35. I'm confused. You're talking about the British or the American or the Israelis? What did I say? I'm sorry. I'm so tired. I don't even remember. Boys. An Israeli F-35. Sorry. Okay. So an Israeli F-35 was making his way with a nuclear bomb to Iran and the Russians shut it down. Right. I heard. Did rumors. you see that story? No, yeah. I heard rumors, but I, yeah. I, I, it's very hard, very hard to verify those kind of things. 
Besides yeah, what, if, what, what? The, 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 that Polish woman who has Scott Ritter on her channel all the time, she had on um, Larry Johnson and Pepe, um, Pepe, whatever his name is, Pepe the Frog. <laughs> Yeah, she, if, she, if she's Polish, if she's Polish, I, I highly doubt her, her credibility when it comes to Jewish people in general, but especially when it comes to Israel. no, 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 no. This guy, this guy lives in he lives in China. Pepe, whatever his name is, he's a Latin American guy. Pepe Escobar. Pepe Escobar. Yeah, Pepe Escobar. And he had he said he got from very reliable sources that the Russians shot down this this plane. Hold on, Russians or Russian systems? Because we know they gave the Iranians S thirty three hundred and four hundred. The defense supposedly system. the Russian a Russian Russian fighter shot it down. Okay, so so the message wasn't meant for Israel. The message was for the United States. In the video, I thought it was a very well done video. Actually, very well done discussion. The, the but, only, the um, only yeah, it wouldn't it wouldn't surprise it wouldn't surprise me if if Israel no, but was attacked. Is, okay. Israel in the region have air supremacy, but no, why I, they... I don't want to talk about it. I don't want. I got to go. I got to go. Sure, um, okay. Watch yes. watch the video. You just uh, you can type it. I'll send you the link on WhatsApp when we when I hang up here. Okay. Sure. sure. All right, buddy. Thanks. All right, I'll see you. Have a good night. Take care. Live long and prosper.